G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now, this video has been proudly brought to you by my YouTube members and my patrons. Without them, I couldn't produce all these new videos that I'm doing. Up to five a week, yeah. Anyhow, Mr. Craig, who um, you may know is Mouse Muffins, Mouse Muffins Designs, right? Mr. Craig provided those wonderful 3D printed stanchions that I used, here's a pic, in my Schnell boat. And they are just fantastic. They're so easy to use, much better than the kit part, look fantastic. Whole video on that. Go back and watch it. Now he's also knocked out for me these. And that is not an alien spaceship. No, they're actually mines. So it'd be level like that, right? They're mines for the back of the Chanel boat. Yeah, they're um, sea mines. So how about that? Mine, mine, mine. It's mine. Yes. And also for one of my sailing ships, the Archeron, which is one 200 scale by Zavesta, it had the most woeful cannons. They're absolutely you know, rotten. So I said to Craig, you couldn't by any chance knock me out some cannons. And he sent me a whole compliment. They're fantastic. I might actually get some more of him because I'm so impressed with them. So um, those are terrific. Beautiful work. He does really nice work. So... Craig sort of um, chatted to me about stanchions and things like that and told me everyone's pretty interested. And he said, would you like to review a kit for me? And I thought, oh, I'm not really into resin kits. And, you know, usually they're just like a big solid, well, I do ships, so a big solid sort of hull. Uh, that's it. Everything's done. Nothing to build there. Just a whole lot of sanding to do so that you can get cancer later. You know, fabulous. Why would I bother doing that? Now, if you don't know, yeah, you've got to be very careful about inhaling very fine particles of resin because they are carcinogens. Carcin they make you sick. <laughs> Anyhow, so my experience up to now with resin stuff, sure, the stuff for cockpits are going airplanes and you know, and you got to be sort of dead careful. I'm always wary of it. You got to bloody basically sort of cut the thing up and sand it underwater. And you know, I can't spend that long in the bath, really. I just can't. Anyhow, Craig says, no, 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 you'll like this. And the reason why is this is actually a kit, it's all parts. And photo edge. And there's, um, there isn't rope here, but there's rope coming. So it's actually a real kit that you put together. And there's really no sanding or anything to do because the way he moulds everything, you just cut everything off and away you go. Glue it together. So it's a model kit. 3D printed. Would you like to see that? <laughs> I know I would. Roll the music. <laughs> If you're enjoying the content that I produce on this channel, the reviews and the kit builds and sort of some of the sillier sort of funny videos, then look, you can help me out by supporting me on YouTube membership or Patreon. Plus, my YouTube members and Patreons get these videos early and advert free. Yeah, none of those stinking adverts. Plus, they get access to all kinds of behind the scenes stuff where I sort of explain what I'm doing, help with answers to questions and sort of tips and tricks and coming soon, merchandise. For less than the price of a coffee a month, yeah, it's not much, really, it'll help me out. And if I get enough of you really supporting me, I can produce more and more videos. So please consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube or even with one-time donation. It helps me continue to produce these videos and keep the quality up, just like this microphone. That was paid for by my patrons. And it's the reason why I'm sounding a little bit better these days. All right, on with the video. Now, the kit. Well, this is a pre-production box that he's just put together I'm not sure if that is what the uh, the final thing will be but that was sort of nice enough in itself uh, Craig has said that I should tell you this is pre-production so it, it probably will be packaged prettier I don't know I don't know if these plastic bags is kind of how it will come but um, they seem to survive all the parts seem to survive in these bags there's a lot of parts I mean there's a lot of parts there's there's all kinds of stuff here and you know this is the thing it's a kit it's a bona fide kit it's not just, you know, a big lump that's been pushed out and resin, and that's it. And all you've got to do is sand it and paint it, which personally I find boring. I mean, models I do to build. You know, I build them, put the bits together, paint the things individually. So Craig has done that. Now, I will get these out of their bags, but would you like a quick sneak peek of what this thing's going to look like? You would? Okay, have a gander at this. Look at that. Yes. 
It's it's a turtley thing, something or other. I don't know. We'll we'll find out more as we go through. But it's it's a rather fascinating looking thing. I don't know if this one is imaginary or it was actually something used in um, you know pre World War One early days of of aqua aqua aquanautics or whatever you call it. But um, it's fascinating. It's interesting. It's still sea and ships, so it's right up my alley or you know down my bathtub. Anyhow, I'll get these out of their um, bags. We'll have a look at the instructions and try and figure this whole thing out. Now this is what Craig has sent me, but it is not the full kit. This is pre-production and this is just so that I could show it to you. There's a stand that is missing from here as well as a piece of rope. And I think there might be a few other little bits and pieces. Can't remember. We'll have a look when we go to the instructions. But basically this at least is the basic model. So you can get an idea. Now, his parts and his moulding his 3D printing is excellent. I mean, when he was doing those stanchions, it's a simple thing. It's just a rod, a few holes in it, right? I think he went through about four different prototypes until he was happy because he kept saying to me, no, I can't send them yet. I've got to do another run tonight. I've changed this. I've adapted that, blah, blah, blah. And he, he actually kept going until he got tiny half millimeter holes through each of the stanchions, clearly through. Because I kept saying, don't worry, mate, I'll drill them through. No, 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 no. And he did it. He actually printed those 3D stanchions with the holes that I didn't need to pre-drill. I just poked my wire through and I was away. And the quality of his work is here too. It's evident. I mean, I don't know what we're looking at. This is the bottom of the turtle. All right? And that'll be wood. So um, the reference photos kind of help. But it's just beautiful. So there's obviously two halves to that. Now, ignore these things. If you've, you've never seen 3D stuff before, right? Ignore these things. Um, Right. There you go. Shouldn't really do it that way. They come off. It's easy as that. And in fact, your sanding is going to be one tiny little micron there. Just sand that off, okay? And you can even just do it with a knife and just scrape it. So the danger of getting massive amounts of resin, like you do with, you know, you buy a resin thing for your, uh, your aircraft and it's on a big block and you've got to cut the bloody thing off, like, you know, decapitating Aphrodite from a bloody plinth. Uh, no, it doesn't exist. These things, in fact, a lot of the parts kind of snap loose a bit in transit. So you've got to watch that. Watch your packing there, Craig. Yeah, a few, a few of mine have come loose, but they hadn't broken, amazingly. So, okay, that's the body of it. And there's, um, uh, this is obviously the bathtub. No, no, this is, this is, I think, is some part. Yeah, this is part of the top. And then on top of that will be um, whatever this is, right? But again, um, don't look at these little things. They're all part of the printing process, I think. Or is that... I don't... Don't listen to anything I say. I haven't got a clue. Uh, here, I know that's part of the printing process. If they look like pencils sticking up its bottom, then um, that's printing process. So that... Um, he sent me a new one of those. He's actually sent me this kit a couple of times, so I'm hoping I've got all the latest parts. But um, when you get yours, it'll be the latest, latest. But I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. So um, here's a little... Some sort of grating and um, gorgeous detail. I wish I could be more intelligent and tell you what things are, and I don't know. When we look at the instructions, it might be more evident, but I'm just giving you a run through. These are, you know, there's a lot of parts. Now, the best part with these parts, part with these parts, yeah. The best thing with these parts is, a lot of the time, they're numbered. They're on the little sprue bases, or, you know, I don't know whether you call them sprues in 3D printing, but on their, um, on their bases, and they are numbered, which really helps find them. Look at that, some sort of little water pumpy thing or something. I don't know. Now, they give you an idea because there is no manual yet. And all I've got is the photos to go by. And I do have a little PDF of instructions here, which I'll show you. But this is kind of where you're going to end up, right? Look at the detail. So the little photo wedge parts and all those little things, they come together. And it is going to be terrific. And the thing is, the way he has done this, and you'll see that in the photo shortly, is that you can have it open or you can have it closed so you can expose the detail here's a quick photo here so you can get an idea of what craig has done it's very well thought out beautifully molded beautifully executed so let's have a look at the instructions now as best we can and we'll try and see what the parts are that match the instructions now craig sent me this pdf which is going to be indicative of his manual and it's absolutely gorgeous i mean the attention to detail and the the wonderful CAD drawings that he's colorized in here 
So it really gives you an idea of um, how this thing goes together. It demystifies all those little parts, right? So there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of things going on. So um, lots to look at. Look at that. That's that interior that I showed you just before. So it'll be a lot of fun to put this together because it's not just, uh, you know, basically cut it off the block kind of resin kit. This is a 3D kit. And I've never seen anything like that. Obviously, there's some pages still to render there. Uh, yeah, all of this will be fixed in the final version. So um, I'm just getting a sneaky sneak pre-production. But you can see there's a little halves. There's that whole interior. That's all that detail there. Okay, so now it gives a better idea what's going on, what these things are. If this is going to be the quality of the manual, this is sort of wing up wings, dare I say, type sort of quality. Um, it'll be really good. I have no idea the pricing on this. I have no idea at all. Uh, I'll leave some contact details at the end of this video so you can basically talk to Craig. This was previously on two sprues, for a better word, or two frames. And he's put it all together there. Every part is numbered. So that shouldn't be too hard to figure out what's going on. And these little protective edges here. Look, the guy is doing a lot of pre-thinking. And I like that. The engineering that's going into this, I like it. This is a time where root counting counts. Get it right, you know? Get your details right, work it all out. And he's done all that. I mean, look at this one. So that it doesn't get rooted in transport, it's got these big bolsters here, right? Which are protecting all these fragile parts. Now that's tinkin. That's tinkin. okay? So um, the guy's no idiot. He really knows his stuff. So these kits, I don't know what they're going to sell for, honestly. But if you are interested in this subject, and if building a 3D printed kit is something you'd like to try, then this looks fantastic. That's about all I can say. I mean, until I get a start on this, and I will build it. I'm going to build it, I'm going to paint it, and I'll do that slowly over the next month. Because this is um, something new to me. I'll take my time and get it right. But this looks like a lot of fun. And... For the first time ever, a resin, I believe this is resin, it's not It's not plastic, it's resin, I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, Craig, correct me in the comments. But um, first time ever, this is the kind of kit that I get excited about. So, can they produce kits of boats like their sailing ships? The answer to that is a resounding yes. I'll put a link in the um, description to a kit that is a sailing ship that is all 3D rendered with all the detail and all the parts. I'm not sure if it's one of Mouse Muffins. I hope it is. <laughs> but just to prove the point, because someone asked me the other day, wow, can we be printing kits soon? Well, yeah, here's one. A completely printed kit. So there you go. We'll go out with a bit of music and a bit of a montage of photos that he sent me of his pre-production one that he built so that you can enjoy that. But for the moment, that's it. It's goodbye from Australia. And it's Huru from Harry Udini. <laughs>